Hey guys, what's up? This is your boy Sam coming live with you guys from Sex City in Central Cali and as you guys can see we are going to be taking a look at Paragon. Now Paragon is a free to play multiplayer online battle arena game developed and published by Epic Games. Now the game is supposed to be releasing for Microsoft Windows and PlayStation 4 in mid 2016 but it is powered by Epic's own Unreal Engine 4. Now the game under early access on March 2016 meaning those of you that bought the founder packs. Now right now everybody that has a PlayStation Plus membership has access to the game and uh, the download is about a three and a half gig download so it's not that long. If you have a decent download speed it should take you no, no more than an hour. Now this game the objective is to reach the opponent's base and destroy the core but to get there you have to get through towers. Now there are some towers are going to be easier to destroy than others but to destroy them I suggest you do it as a team and now that I'm talking as a team I recommend that you have at least two friends playing with you so that you can have three of the slots taken on the squad now with uh, two friends or more playing this game is easier than doing it with randoms because as we all know randoms tend to do whatever the hell they want but when you have a party at the most there can be five of you in the game but when you have a party it's much easier because you can discuss a strategy you can decide okay we're gonna attack mid lane we're gonna attack left lane right lane or you can actually talk to each other and say hey get over here help me out I'm getting my ass handed to me over here but as you can see as you can see on the screen right now these are cards these cards help you power up your character your hero and as you can see I have four cards equipped and trust me you gain card power as you can see I have unused card power and with unused card power you can you can actually spend it and power up the cards that you have currently equipped now the cards that you have equipped can help you deal more physical damage more critical chance more attack speed I mean it depends on how you set your deck because when you win matches or lose matches as you level up you're gonna be unlocking decks of cards and trust me put up a good deck you can only have a deck of up to 40 cards so so make sure you set up a good deck you could set up uh, for example a critical deck for critical chance there you could set up a health deck to give you a hell of a lot of deck you could set one that could give you hell armor you could set a deck that could give you hell of physical damage or, the, or if you want to focus on defense you could do that too but to get more card power the way you do that is you is you plant harvesters there is a card called a harvester key which you equip and then you go to uh, the designated spots on your side of the arena and plant your harvester which will give you more power you have to give it time though to, to collect power and then you can just go there take the power also your enemies have the ability to plant a harvester of their own but you can also go there to their side and destroy it so they don't don't gain the power now you guys I forgot to explain to you how matches go and how many players can be in a match now in a match 10 players are divided into teams of 5 and each player assumes control of a hero each hero has their own major attack and possesses 5 sets of ability with one of them being the ultimate ability now for example the ultimate ability of my current hero she shoots a, a barrage of three arrows you can keep shooting until you run out of power and as you can see on the bottom right corner you can actually level up your abilities but once they are maxed out they're going to deal a hell of a lot of damage now different heroes have different skills and weapons for example Grox is an offensive character and he has the ability to smash enemies while Muriel, who is a defensive character, can aid her allies with a shield, which is nice. Both teams have minions which slowly march towards their opponent's bases and support the heroes. Now, your minions, you need to take advantage of them, especially while you're going, while you're heading towards the towers. What you want to do is get as, is get your minions to the towers first, and while and, and when they get there, see they'll get targeted. And while the tower is targeting your minions, 
you can you need to get in there and try to destroy it but sometimes the minions of of the opposing team are gonna come at you so you're gonna have to help and as you can see this is how you destroy a tower we did it but we still have a long way to go and as I mentioned some towers are harder to destroy than others because some of them have more health than others and it takes more players to get the job done but if you want to watch me and my friends play Paragon you can uh, go to my second channel which is Sack City Gaming B2 and subscribe to it now on that channel it's only gameplay videos no reviews, no unboxings, just mere gameplay videos and I've already up uploaded a gameplay video of Paragon which is about 30 minutes and it and that video I had to cut it from 90 to 30 minutes because trust me who's gonna sit through and watch 90 minutes of gameplay not many people will do that so if you're interested and you're already subscribed to my channel check out my gaming channel now when you kill an enemy or a hero or, an, or a tower I'm so sorry you will gain experience and card points now let me explain a little something about about the cards now I did mention them earlier in the video but before each match is about to start you can utilize a deck now each deck allows players to use these cards points to purchase upgrades such as health boost you could purchase strength enhancing artifacts for your heroes and much more now the cards are divided into five different affinities and each character from a character from one affinity cannot use cards from other affinities they all have different affinities so when you choose your own hero look at the affinities that they have so that way you can put up an awesome deck now card packs can be purchased by reputation points which are earned through competing in grueling matches now you can also use your your real world currency to boost your reputation points and experience points but according to epic to epic the game is not a pay to win game thank freaking god as a result player cannot can only purchase cosmetic items with real life currency and trust me i have seen some of the customs that you can that you can buy they're so fucking epic as hell now right now i have i only have the default custom for my character and I'm looking forward to doing the mastery testing and getting more customs now the game also features a replay system which allows players to observe the match as a spectator which is kinda nice but one more thing that I forgot to mention is that there is a there is a hero that you select you level them up and you unlock stuff for them and one thing that you have to do for each character is a test which is called the mastery test and, when, and before you do that they give you a custom like a trial custom for the mastery test and then they give you a better a far better custom for for completing it but the mastery tests are not so easy and I'm eager to do one thank you guys for watching this video and if you enjoyed this review of Paragon don't forget to leave a thumbs up and hit the subscription button below also to watch gameplay videos do not forget to click the link on the description below which will take you to my gameplay channel and if you like my gameplay channel subscribe and um, thank you for watching again and i'll see you guys on the next one peace out and enjoy the rest of the video
attack. Damaged. 